Welcome to our daily news coverage from the 29th day of the 2019 World Series of Poker presented by Natural 8. We had three new bracelet winners yesterday, but first, sound the alarm. We had a Tom Dwan appearance at the World Series of Poker yesterday. Yep. That's right, Durr, who hasn't cashed a WSOP event in eight years, showed up last night to max late register the 50K Poker Players Championship. Unfortunately, his appearance was short-lived as he was eliminated in the final level of last night. Michael the Grinder Mizrahi, who has won this event three times, will not make it a fourth time this year. Mizrahi busted to Prahlad Freeman in a hand of pot limit Omaha. However, Robert Mizrahi still remains in the field, and that could be good news to one lucky Twitter user. Back on March 12th, Mizrahi tweeted, Follow me and retweet for a chance to win 1% of me in the 50K championship this year. Feeling good. And 1% donation to a charity of your choice. Guys, it's not too late to do so. If you think you can beat out the 1,500 people who have already retweeted that tweet, I already retweeted and followed him, but if you do it and win, don't forget about your girl, Sasha Salinger. Me. Hi. I always accept money. Now it was Phil Ivey who bagged the chip lead last night and looks to nab his 11th bracelet. 34 other players return at 2 p.m. today to compete for that first place prize of $1,099,311. Now to yesterday's bracelet winners. First up, Dash Dudley won the 10K PLO Championship. Not only did he win a WSOP gold bracelet and over a million dollars, but he may have also won the prize for most boisterous rail. I spoke with a PLO specialist about his win and a special someone who had a piece of him in the tournament. Uh, it's been a long time coming. We've been dating for uh, nine years, so we're tying the knot this August, so it feels really good to close before that. Um, Funny thing was, uh, I think it was months ago, she told me that I was going to win this tournament. And the 10K one? Yeah, the, wow. ten, the 10K PLO. And, uh, you know, I've already played quite a few tournaments, so I was going to have a decent schedule. And for some reason, she picked this one. And uh, I had a little bit of percentages left, so she actually got a piece and jumped on. So uh, she made it happen, but she, she believed. She bought a piece of you? Yes. <laughs> Genius. First time. Wow, lucky sweat. Very lucky sweat. We're going to have to keep her on. Kevin Gerhardt won the 1500 Raz event for $119,054 and his first WSOP gold bracelet. Gerhardt beat out a field of 363 players, including Scott Clements and Jennifer Tilly, who both made deep runs in this event. The $800 No Limit Hold'em Deep Stack event took a strange turn yesterday when the event went down from 9 to 5 players more quickly than expected. The final five were scheduled to be on the CBS All Access live stream, but the live stream table was already occupied with the 10K PLO Championship final table. So, the 800 Deep Stack event went on an over three hour break after just three hours of play. Well, after this long, impromptu break, the final five returned to the live stream table to play down to a winner. It was Santiago Soriano who proved victorious and won his first bracelet and $371,203. The $600 No Limit Hold'em Deep Stack Championship received 6,140 entrants yesterday. This massive field played at 17 levels yesterday and they're already in the money. 917 players remain and will return today with their hopes set on a $397,903 first place prize. Now if the Rio wasn't packed enough, we got the $400 Colossus event starting today. However, there are some significant changes to this year's Colossus event. Last year there were six opening flights, this year there are two opening flights. Day 1A kicked off today at 10 a.m. Players have up to four chances to bag in this event as each flight allows one re-entry until late registration closes. Two other big changes to this year's event include the buy-in reduction from $565 to $400 and the starting chip stack increases from $5,000 to $40,000 in chips. A winner is expected to be crowned June 29th and of course we will have that news for you when it happens. Next up, the 1500 Pot Limit Omaha High Low 8 or Better event attracted 1,117 entrants on its opening day yesterday, which smashes the 935 entrants from last year. Ari Engel, fresh off his WSOP bracelet win in the 2500 No Limit Hold'em event, is among the chip leaders heading into today's day two. 
Among the 417 players who found a bag at the end of last night are Daniel Negreanu, Mike Sexton, Joe Chong, Mike Matisau, and Kristen Bicknell. The tournament is scheduled to end tomorrow, but with this significant increase in entries from last year, we could see the tournament play extended one more day. Whenever the tournament concludes, we will see one lucky winner take home a first place prize of $279,920. Now the last tournament starting today is the 10K Raz Championship. That event kicks off at 3 p.m. Stay tuned for later today when we will have an interview with the winner of the Monster Stack. You may have been able to hear the rail behind me. And we'll also bring you your weekly news roundup. I'm Sasha Salinger, and this has been your June 26, 2019 WSOP News Roundup, sponsored by Natural 8.